Well, this is a, a little embarrassing. That did not go how I expected. Here I thought all these years Grandpa was a great noble adventurer, and now I find out he's kind of an asshole. If, if, <laughs> if it's any consolation, it didn't go the way I expected it to either. Um. Uh, I I uh, don't be too hard on your grand grandpa. We we all have our faults, I suppose. Well, you're a more magnanimous sort than I am. No use dwelling on it, like he said. I'll meet you outside the haunt, and we'll go from there. Yeah, you know, I have to I have to wonder. Oh, great grandpa Eckelbert. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where we're on our way to a place called Harold's Haunt. Uh, this is um, apparently where Harold Shieldbiter lives, and he's the person who's organizing the Silver Hand, because he wants to kill the companions for something that Roderick Redbeard's grandfather did. Um... We, we, we summoned Roderick's grandfather in the Hall of the Dead, and... Well, you know, I mean... I had to go get a pretty stiff, stiff drink afterwards, and... and uh, got a little bit of a hangover as a result, but, uh, you know, anyway, so... That's where we're going, we're gonna meet... we're gonna meet Roderick there, and we're gonna, um... We're gonna go... we're gonna go kill Harold... kill Harold Shield... Shieldbiter. Um... So, yeah, it's it's been a, it's been an, it's been an interesting week, hasn't it, Greg? To, to be honest. Had mercenary work. It might suit you. Although first, I'm going to actually turn in this this quest for Danica Pure Spring, since we went and you know attacked the the elder the elder gleam and pissed off all the hippies. We might as well. You know. Turn this quest in. Where the hell is she? There you are. Who where, missus? Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I've got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. You're quite welcome. It was it was quite an effort. <sighs> Fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I'd rather not. I think I've been over this before. Yes, anyway. Sir. Um. Question is, where the hell is this place? I saw a dra it's oh, it's down here near Lake Ellen Altar. Apparently in the middle of the lake. It must be on an island or something. Right, well, we're going through Riverwood then, by the looks right of it. Over the city, headed northeast, toward Shearpoint, by the looks of it. Shearpoint. Map updated. Oh, okay, Maybe I'll check that out. Thank you very much. Oh, what am I saying? Let's see. Guards are useful for something, at least. All right, then, uh, come on, Greg. We go, we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what can I say? I mean, stepping out of out of character and everything for a minute. Uh, I I the mod obviously that all this Roderick Redbeard stuff is coming from is called um, 
Immersive Idiots, Roderick Regbeard. It's a mod by some guy 2000 who obviously did all the New Vegas bounty mods for uh, Fallout New Vegas, and he did New Vegas Killer, and he also did Bad Motherfucker, who fe features quite prominently in my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. And um, I knew basically fuck all about um, Immersive Idiots Roderick Redbeard before I downloaded it, but I, I since I've played pretty much every mod that he's done previously and enjoyed every single goddamn one of them, uh, I decided to just sort of take a leap of faith and just see what it was like. The only thing I knew about it was that you had to have completed the companions in order to do it. Now, obviously, for me, that was a bit of an issue for obvious reasons, because I, I wasn't able to finish the Companions until recently. Um, but aside from that, I knew nothing about it, and yeah. Some guy, if you, if you, if you ever happen to end up watching this someday, and I doubt that, but if you do ever happen to watch this, well, well done is all I can say. You didn't fucking disappoint. Uh, right. So, and of course the weather's taking a big old shit on me again, it seems, as soon as I leave the city gate. Whatever. Just take your rain and stuff it up your ass, Kinnereth. See if I care. Hello? S excuse me? This doesn't concern you, citizen. Doesn't it? Move along. What's wrong with worshipping Talos then? It's immoral to worship a man, and it's also illegal. A faithful imperial citizen would know that. Perhaps there's something you wish to confess. See, I don't actually, I don't actually worship Talos, but um, that's kind of besides the point. I, I, I can worship my horse if I want to, and um, I'd like to see you stop me. Incorrect. You can worship whatever gods you like. But Talos is a man. Only a heretic would think otherwise. And so you will die a heretic's death. Oh yeah, one day, one day probably, alone, in my bed at a ripe old, ripe old age, I imagine I shall die a heretic's death, but until then, I'm gonna kill a lot of you fellas. Yeah, well, you know, Redbeard's got a point. There are a few things quite as satisfying as that. Oh dear, look at that Fisher Price armor. Ooh, that's not, not quite as bad, I suppose. I don't know, I, glass armor just never has looked good ever since Morrowind. It looked okay in Morrowind, but it, yeah, never, never since. Oh, there you are. I was about to say. Fuck, have you gone? Where's Greg's one run off to? So, continuing on, that pleasant little distraction aside. Grey skies loom on the horizon. Yeah, thanks for pointing out the obvious. It doesn't matter where I fucking go, grey skies loom on the horizon. I think I've got the point by now. Just seems we've got a slightly different shade of grey skies looming on the horizon. Suppose we should go this way. I was trying to um, think, um, think in my head which riverbank we should travel down. It'd probably be easiest to go on this side, though. Just drop a quick save.
So we need to branch off the path ahead, I think. Because otherwise it leads us up to the Guardian Stones, which we don't actually want to go to. Uh, I was about to say, aren't there usually wolves here? Silent hooves, silent galloping, cause of the sound glitches. Hurrah. Don't you just love the creation engine and its weird sound and nonsense? It's terrible lip syncing, it's glitchy sounds, it is just the best engine ever, right? Cannot wait to see what crazy bugs and glitches that Fallout 4 will have in store of us. I really cannot. Okay, so. Um, hello random hunter, we're going to leave our horses here, I hope you don't mind. Please don't steal them. I would be very annoyed if you did that. So, let's see. That's a dance boot to water walking. Greg, I'm afraid you're going to have to go for a swim, old chap. Hope you don't mind. Well, it's not that deep anyway. Oh no, there we go, we're swimming now. Okay. Ah, oh, here we are. Well, we're here. Are you ready to go inside and brave the waves of Draugr and face the bad man Harold? Yeah, more or less. I'll have to put me other pair of boots on, but that's about it. Okay, I'll be right with you doing the slashing and the killing. Okay then. Here we go. Who would have thought a tiny trapdoor on the, on an island in the in a in a lake would lead to this, eh? Skyrim is is truly a wondrous place like that. Obviously, I know the reason for that is because of all sorts of stupid compatibility issues you get with mods like this. Um, knock, knock. You're not going to burst out and... Okay. Have I got enough lantern oil? I think I have. Got the feeling there's trouble ahead. Whatever gave you that impression? Oh, I need to smoke a pipe now. <laughs> okay. Oh, are we doing the the cute little playing dead thing? Yeah, okay. Oh, my aim could use some work though. The Keymaster. Jesus Christ! Okay, alright then, fine. Sorry, Greg. Oh, my, my hammer's out of charge, that won't do. The Gatekeeper. And the key must. <laughs> okay. Something you should know about some guy 2000. He likes to wear his references on his sleeve. Hell, if I if I recall correctly, that Roderick Redbeard himself is a reference to something that I won't spoil. Okay, enchanter, okay, no thanks. Uh, yeah, let me just charge my hammer. It's an odd sentence, I know, but... There we go. Okay. Uh, up the 
steps, thank you. Oh, I might even bothering really. I can't I can't help it. I love me loose change, I do. I love me my pocket change. My ancient Nordic pocket change. Human no, no thank you. Did that one just get left over in the embalming process? Like they didn't know what to do with it. They ran out of uh, urns. Right. Of course I'm carrying too much to be able what to is fucking it, run. What's mine is yours, Thay. Carry some goddamn dragon bones for me. Or scales or whatever. Onward then. What happened to your voice? <laughs> I mean, I knew you were undead, but gods, that is disturbing. It was an accident. I attempted to remedy a sore throat with a magical spell, and instead, I was afflicted with this condition. Well, you can barely notice. Uh, Mr. Harold, why we're here. Uh, as you know, it relates to an unpleasant incident a long time ago with my grandfather. We know there are some hard feelings you will not let go, and there were also some deaths, you know, with the silver hand, and we have to deal with this. Uh, I imagine this will not be a uh, conversation type thing. can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> You've got to enunciate or something. I, I mean, I'm not trying to insult you, but this is ridiculous. Enunciation? I'm going to rip your limbs off and drink the blood from your open wounds. No, 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 you're not listening, Harold. All right, slow down. Make sure you use the diaphragm to project, <laughs> and then you've got to enunciate. Try this. How now, brown cow? Now you try. That's enough. You have been a dog. Die now. Oh, uh, nice armor, by the way. What? <laughs> uh, no! Oh, you've got a lot of health. Ste steady there, guys. I Let's not crowd each other here. I'm I'm seriously out of stamina. That's how how much of a beating this guy's taking. Oh, finally, an unenchanted ebony cuirass. Might, maybe I can finally get an enchantment that is not totally fucking useless, like the one I've got at the minute. Now, of course, I can't let you walk. But never mind. I mean, can't run. Boy, he really knew how to hold on to a grudge, didn't he? Gods, he was so hostile. I'm going to go back to your Vasker. Kind of take a break. When you're, say, ready for something new, come speak to me. Will do. You don't look terribly amused, Greg. I've got to be honest. Ebony broadsword. No thanks. Oh, oh, actually, you know what though? It's. What is it, Thane? You, you can have it if you want. What's mine is yours, Thane. Uh, except you can't carry it because you're weighed down with loads of crap too. So, what have you got that we don't need? You've got that. I can get rid of that. 
get rid of all of these. Don't know why I even bothered picking up those fucking... Uh, what do you call it? Um, dragon bones and dragon scales in the first place, to be honest with you. Okay. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And these. And that. Where's that? Uh, sorry, Harold. Kind of dropped that on your head there, didn't I? Oops, wrong button. We've stopped. What is it? I am at your command. Uh, where, 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 where is it? There you go. New sword. It's a bit of a weird-looking one, uh, but if you're if you're fine using it, then that's cool. It's uh, ooh, arch necromancer. Oh, so now we find a full fucking suit of of this this runic oh, oh, for, oh. Good grief that's irritating <laughs> never mind uh haven't blasted never mind all right we'll just we'll, there's a bunch of bones around here rattling around that's annoying the crap out of me um There's nothing in here, is there? Oh, no. That, yep. This <laughs> that pisses me off slightly, but never mind. You look better in that outfit anyway, I think. Greg. Silent step. Harold's treasure. 200 <laughs> salt piles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Salt. Best mod I ever got was a mod that let me cook things without using salt. So now, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know why I have 200 things of salt. <laughs> oh no, I didn't want to... Oh god. There we go. Right. Anyway. Hmm. <sighs> so, well, you know, that was that, that was definitely interesting. Greg, Greg, what are you doing, man? Come on. Why do you always insist on loitering about half a mile behind me? It it, it kind of pisses me off, mate, to be honest with you. Whatever happened to the old, you know, uh, you know, choose choose which distance a follower keeps up with you thing. Where did that Where did that go? You know. Hang on a minute. Is there anything around here? Nope. Does not like it. Okay. Alright then, well. That was an interesting little adventure. I I don't I don't see that we've got much better to do. I suppose we could start making our way to Riften. But uh 
kind of want to just pop back to Hirovaska anyway, so I might as well see what if he's got anything else for us in the meantime, you know. But we really should get on to, uh, get on to, uh, Riften in the Dawn Guard, shouldn't we? Vampires are becoming this really sort of annoyingly common theme, you know. It's like the universe is trying to tell me something. Blessing of Talos. Add it. Awesome. Okay. I really need to get lots of shout boosting things, like an amulet of Talos, which I I think, I, yeah, I already have in the form of this backpack, but I need to get a separate amulet of Talos. Which, actually, I already have that. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, anyway, I already have that. I need to get my great graybeard cloak again. I don't know where the hell I put that. I like being able to shout every, like, ten seconds. It's awesome. I mean, it's OP, but it's awesome. Because it's OP. If you, if you see my point. Anyway, it's a bright, sunshiny day for once, outside the walls as well as in them, uh, for once as well. And hey, look at the gilder green; it's all blossomy now and stuff. That was quick, wasn't it? Huh. Not bad. This is a still, still a bloody shambles, though. Look at this nonsense. Good, fucking. I, I need to have. Words with the old biography, you know, because this, this just won't stand. This is dreadful. It has been how many months now since since the siege of Whiterun? I mean, come on. Rorik stands a nice enough little hamlet, but a boring posting for a guard. If a dragon attacks, well, then it'd be a different story. If you're bored, you can fix up this. That's what you can do. Oh, it's you. When the Empire surrendered to the old Mary Dominion. I'm sorry, you were saying what? Push off. You know, when we signed the White Gold Concordat, we should have inclu included a provision which was deliver Vignar Greymane's head to the Thalmor. That I would have found agreeable. That probably w Honestly, that would have made up for the whole Talos worship thing being banned. Honestly, that single-handedly would have would have compensated for it, actually. Um, so... I hope you drown in that stream. I hope you trip over... And you, you, you can't get up because of your arthritic limbs and you, and you drown in that stream. You wretched little man. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's just me. Don't everyone get up at once. How are you not all, like, really, really fat and overweight at this point? Like, all you guys do is sit on your asses and eat and drink all day. You guys should all be just, like, like, you know, fucking 20, 30 stone by this point. Massive, just morbidly fucking obese, a lot of you. It's... See, it's not even lunchtime, it's 3 p.m. It's 3 fucking p.m. and you're all sat here eating. Even you, Anamla. I mean, I expected better from you. But now you're sat there stuffing your face as well. God. Oh, I don't know. Where's Roderick buggered off to? Did he say he was coming back to your Vasco? I think he did, didn't he? He'd say he wanted to have a break. Maybe he's disappeared. Or maybe he's downstairs. I don't fucking know. Or maybe he's not even back yet. Who, who knows? Stupid menus. Ugh. Oh, bloody people in my room again. Is it just you, Tilma? 
I've been tending to the warriors of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. Yes, I know, you see Nile on Vint. Uh, Alright, well, you know, you're the cleaning lady, so, you know, if anyone's got permission, it might as well be you. Miko, you have my permission to bite anyone else, by the way. He's not anywhere to be seen, is he? Unless he's outside somewhere. I think, yeah, I guess when he said he wanted to have a break, he just decided to uh, sod off for a bit. Looks that way. Unless I'm being completely blind and he actually was stood around upstairs and I'm just a dumbass. That's that's usually the case with these things, actually. I'm just being monumentally blind and stupid. And missing the totally goddamn obvious. Where are you four off to? Off to sit down and eat more, is it? Yeah, have, have third lunch for the day. Second breakfast, fifth lunch. Fat bastards. Poof, I thought the game had frozen there for a second. Yikes, that would have sucked. We have a Vilcus, an Ayla, a Rhea, a Grumpy Nyada Stone Arm. I like that. No Roderick. Alright. Unless he's up at the Skyforge, he has buggered off somewhere. Fair enough. Yep, he's not here either. Alright then, well. Yeah, I guess this is once again the universe saying, Get on with it! Go see the fucking Dawn Guard, you lazy bum. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's probably. He's either buggered off somewhere or he's not even back yet. Either way. I think we kind of need to. Uh, oh, damn it. Run out of food. As per usual, at least, you know, cooked food. Yeah, either way, I think I think we're, we're done here, aren't we, really? We need to go. Uh, Get the carriage to Riften. Go see the Dawn Guard. Go and see the not so mighty vampire hunters, if if uh, rumor is correct. You tried mercenary. Apparently, work. the vampires think they're a bit laughable. There's a rift here in Skyrim. And I have to admit, given given the fact that the, the, the vampires are just sort of wandering around, fairly unopposed. Harassing the townsfolk and me. Been a good friend to me. That uh, means something. I can't, I can't, I can't honestly, with with in good conscience, sit there and put my hand on my heart and say yes. The Dawn Guard are doing a good job. <laughs> so. Dragon to attack. And where did that crazy dragon slaying lady run off to, or wannabe dragon slaying woman? Bugger off to. She said she was going to go and. See some tavern keepers, innkeeps, or something. I don't know. And that's where we'd find her if we ever needed her. I mean, we don't really need her, to be honest with you, but I don't know. She's slightly more interesting than the average numbskull you meet on your travels who offers to come with you. Sort of a little grey skinned ball of hate. And. <laughs> <laughs> and frustration, and I suppose in a way that kind of reminds me of myself. So, not the grey skinned part, but you know, the irritable bit. Yeah, screw you too, Kinnereth. Is this me not? Uh, what is this? Is this because of the Elder Gleam, or is this me not following the way of the voice? What is it? Make up your mind. But the but the joke's wearing thin. I'm I'm 
I literally walk out of those city gates and it suddenly happens to turn cloudy every single time. Coincidence, I think not, God of the Sky. Huh. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Riften, believe it or not. Climb and back and we'll be off. Not my favourite city, but we won't be stopping, unless it's, you know, the middle of the night when we arrive, which is a distinct possibility. I will club you on the back of the head, carriage driver. Don't believe for a moment that I won't do it. Oh, oh, yeah, very funny, Kinnereth, very fucking funny. Yeah, it is not only the middle of the night, but it is chucking it down with the rain, of course. Oh, I wonder what that voice was with the Khajiits. Anyway, oh, good lord, do I want to go sleep in Riften? I probably don't, but... Oh, whatever. I don't really want to sleep in a tent, either. And I don't want to go head out into the dark on a dark, stormy night like this. Either. That's just not happening. Even if I was a werewolf still, I'd think twice about that. Why are there so many people out? I've got the coin, all right. I've got more than enough coin. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Any rumors? Here, take a look at this. Hmm. Vampires in Boulderfall Cave and Note on Greywater Grotto. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Refill of water. Of course. And room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. I don't know. It's I okay. I've, I've been here before. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but your husband or... Was he your husband? I can't remember. Doesn't he sell some fucking amazing drinks? Or am I imagining that? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Oh wait, I do need to use salt piles for some of this stuff. Damn it, I should have taken Harold's salt stash. After all, I thought I had a mod that removed the salt requirement. Hi, Jade. Uh, you, you really can't, I'm afraid. Unless you've seen a big burly Nord with a red beard and a scar wandering about the place. No? Okay. Yeah. What's your problem? Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Ready to punch you in the face? Oh, you're leaning against the wall, so you won't, <laughs> you won't stagger backwards. To see you That's annoying. Came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Nope. You're trying my patience, lad. Oh, am I? Sorry. You're I'm not interested still. Lad. Hey, Brynjolf. Hey, Brynjolf. I'm still not interested. You're trying my patience, lad. Uh. Oh, 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 Brynjolf, one other thing. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Still not interested. You're trying my patience, lad. <laughs> oh, what a scumbag. I love tormenting you. And people like you. Right. Hey, yeah, I had a couple of notes, didn't I? I can't find the gentleman with the um, ridiculously strong alcohol, unfortunately, but whatever. Attention travellers, there have been strange noises emanating from Greywater Grotto, a cave south near the border to Cyrodiil. There is no evidence of any danger, but travellers should proceed with caution. Curious. What about... Uh, menu's bugging out. 
Attention adventurers, a vigilant of Stendar has brought word of, an, of increased vampire activity in the rift, particularly in the area near Shorestone and Boulderfall Cave. Travellers should take it extra caution when travelling at night. So, where are those then? Boulderfall Cave, there. And Greywater Grotto, there. Straight. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, God. If we happen to be in the region, I wouldn't mind checking these places out. I, I the, the vampire one's slightly less interesting, but it, we probably should kill the, kill the vampires. Well, but the Greywater Grotto one is piquing my interest. Ready to make some coin? No! Yeah, what's your problem? Yes? Thank you for being at least slightly friendly. Greetings, traveler. My name is Jade. Good for I you, Jade. I offer you Mara's blessing that her light may guide you on the... Oh, who am I kidding? You'll end up like all the rest. Uh, excuse me? Oh, you must be new to Riften. Well, if you're looking for marital guidance, I suggest you speak to Maramal or Dinya. I'm really not. I can't seem to get a single soul into Mara's embrace. I think I'm cursed. Uh, uh, what do you mean, cursed? As acolytes of Mara, we're supposed to put those who've lost their way back on the path toward true love. But I can't seem to keep a single couple together. Um... You don't have to be a matchmaker, right? Yeah, just pass out Dinya's letters or something, you know. That's exactly the problem. I love Dinya, but I'd rather scrub the floors with my tongue <clears throat> than pass out another one of her obnoxious letters. Who the hell's Dinya? She's already passing no some idea. of Brielle's work Whatever. on to me, so he can focus on marital guidance. No, I've got to make this whole matchmaker thing work. You seem less... Devout than other pre uh, devout's one word for it. Pious, I suppose, would be another. Is it that obvious? I suppose the name's a dead giveaway too. Uh. Well, it's not Fred, exactly Fred a secret not. around here, <laughs> so I might as well tell you. I used to be a member of the Thieves Guild. Oh right, as in Sapphire. J right, okay, yeah, gotcha. Um. It's more likely it's just bad luck, you know, probably. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're just crap at your job, but hey. I know the difference between luck and curses. Bad luck is rain at a picnic. A taxia on your first date. Bad luck can throw love off course, but it can't capsize a ship the way a curse can. What do you mean? Well, take Aaron, for instance. A dashing man saves the life of a beautiful warrior, in a story fit for the tales. Not only that, but he gets her to move in with him. At this point, the wedding is just a formality. So, what went wrong? Well, the first mistake was he asked for my counsel. His second mistake was following it. Literally. <sighs> when I said don't leave her side, I didn't mean her backside. A man has to lead. Somehow the poor soul managed to gain her confidence, her trust, her friendship, but not her love. I'm starting to get bored now. Uh... Uh, uh, I don't. Sadly, no. Aaron sleeps like a guest in his own home. He thinks letting Mjol have his room will help earn her love. The poor, misguided fool. Uh, by the way, it's just one more perfect couple you've ruined! Uh, 
Yeah, some people just aren't compatible, I suppose. It's, it's, not, it's not your fault, I guess. Tell that to Sodrin. He still blames me for ruining his chances with Helga. As if that weren't his own fault. Helga likes big, strong men. As for Sodrin, well, the other day I think I hurt my shoulder just looking at him. Uh. Right, well, you know, um, yeah, you, you, Mara protect you. Yeah. Have better luck in future, I guess. Best of luck to you and, and all that kind of stuff. Where's the guy with the drinks?